<sighs> What's going on YouTube fam? Mike is here shooting another high adventure video. Oh. Well, the truck started, that's a good sign. Ooh, it is getting cold. We are in the middle of November here in South Carolina. And yeah, like I said, things are getting a little bit chilly nowadays. Almost kind of feel like I'm back in Idaho some ways. Some fresh early morning brew. Getting ready to go chase some South Carolina crappy. One of the things I learned when I first moved here is in the South they call them crappy, not crappie. I would I'd be talking to guys like catch any crappie. They're like, what? Wait, catch any crappie? Crappy? Yeah. Yeah. Catch a few. A few crappy. It's like, oh okay. When in Rome. So from here on out, we're gonna try to call them crappy. Because we're southern now. Oh, come on, heated seat, let's get going. Anyway, heading to the lake, about a 30 minute drive. I'll catch you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we are on the water. Sun just came up. We're gonna take a big, long run up river. All the way to that bridge right there. <laughs> it's about 100 yards away, so that's pretty nice. Don't have to go terribly far. This is the Hobie Mirage Outback. 2020 gosh I can't believe we're already almost into 2022 but anyway I can stand up in this this has the pedal drive I actually have a little compartment down here a bunch of minnows got his bait guys this is an awesome kayak if you're serious about fishing go ahead and spend a little bit of extra money get yourself something nice also got the hummingbird helix 5 hooked up to this hopefully we'll see some crappie balls under that bridge enough talking about it let's get started drop our rudder Drop the old pedal dry right down. Looks like we got guys fishing on this pillar. Guys fishing on this pillar, so we'll just go ahead and take the middle one. <sighs> All right. Let's grab out the old crappy rig here. What I'm doing is I just have small golden J hook, a couple of split shops about a foot up from it. And we're just gonna rig on some of these minnows here, just like that. Pretty simple. Simple setup here. Grab them in like so. I think we're gonna hook them through the back of the dorsal fin, just like that. Perfect. And we overshot our pillar a little bit here. Back it up. All right, right there. Let's drop her down. Anchors away. See if anything's hanging out down there. Guys, we're getting a bite here. Very light, very light. Got him, right there. Got him, loaded on. First fish of the morning. Oh yeah, nice crappy. Nice crappy, come here, come on. Come on. Of course I didn't bring a net, we'll just hop him aboard. Nice, look at that. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty one, that's a pretty one. Oh, that's a pretty fish, J hook, right in the top of the mouth. Perfect. Let's measure it up, make sure it's eight. Gotta be eight inches to keep. I'm pretty sure that's eight though. I'll bet that's probably more like 10. All right guys, this one goes 12, right at 12 inches. So we got our first keeper in the boat and the skunk out, boom. Drop him over to the side. Nice. Fish number one. Grab another one here. Ooh, that's a nice sized one. Just this little golden J hook. Couple of split sh Oh, no, 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 ah. Curse you. Come on, no. Get here. There we go. Woo, close. I am notorious for letting baits get away. I haven't figured out quite how to hold these things yet. Right through the back fin, just like that. Look at that. That way he can swim around while he's down there. Just dropping them over the side. What I've done is I've actually tied myself up to the piling here. We're getting ready to throw a big rod out here into the channel. I'm gonna throw something uh, something out on the bottom. And while I was getting that ready, all of a sudden just saw the rod tip very light, just boom, just like that. They're not they're not eat they're not crushing it, but they're just coming up and sucking it up. We get another bite there. Hmm. Keep an eye on that. Anyway, what do we've got for the big rod, guys? Is I'm gonna take 
a fresh dead piece of mullet. Just like that. This isn't mullet, this is herring. Gosh, I've been fishing so much saltwater and freshwater bait. I've uh, kind of forgotten what's what. We'll get this down sometime in the next several years. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna just hook it right through the eyes just like that. I'm gonna throw that out, see if there are any catfish or maybe even cruising striper in the area. Just like that, boom. Let's see if we can get anything on that. It's like 30 feet right out here, so nice little channel. Oh, guys, just got a bite on the minna. Just got a bite on the minna. Did I get him? Wait, we got him. We got him. Oh, baby crappie. <laughs> baby crappie. <laughs> that won't go eight. We'll put it that way. <laughs> nice, though. That's probably the smallest crappie I've caught in a long time. It's a good sign. It means they're down there, but that's probably like five inches. That'd be catfish bait right there. Dropping back in. There she goes. It's good though. They're down there. They're down there. We'll get a bigger one. We'll add to the stringer. Knock on wood. something down there oh there's there's a bite got him got him got another crappy and i'm hooked up okay i'm snagged here okay guys i was trying to get a snag out and then a crappy just hit is this a keeper oh yeah that's another keeper come on come on we got bit on the big rod there we go nice nice got bit on the big rod and then it got me snagged again and then, right as I was trying to get that out, got another crappy. Nice. Oh, that J hook just popped right out. Still left us our minna. That's awesome. That's another keeper right there. That's another 12 inches. Sweet. Perfect. Check that out. Got a couple nice ones on there. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all guys I just got the snag out and it almost feels like I have a fish oh I've got a catfish check this out I just got the snag out we got a little catfish on I thought I got a bite earlier look at that check that out I don't know how long this little catfish sat down there and ate on this but look at that check that out this almost reminds me of somebody said they have like white catfish in here because if you guys can see that it's almost got like, got like the blunted head of a bullhead but it's got the gray body of of uh, like a channel catfish. What happened was is I was stuck on that line down there and I could feel it because it would like give a little bit. And once it finally popped free of the line, uh, this little guy was sitting on it. So who knows how long he's been down there, but that's like the perfect eating size. He's probably about maybe close to two pounds. That meat's gonna be nice and tender, not a lot of fat in it. So we're gonna go ahead and throw him on the stringer. Boom. We're crushing it this morning, guys. Bite's a little slow, but it is pretty cold out. Here we go. Our haul so far this morning. That's not too shabby right there. We've drifted a little bit. Let's get back up there, anchored up. Maybe get a big slab of crappy, a pancake crappy down there. This is the time of year they catch them, you know, in that cold weather. Seems like those big ones come out. So guys, one of the reasons we're fishing these bridges is, number one, really good structure, but number two, they're concrete bridges so what happens is like during sunny days like what we've had in the past few days is the concrete actually kind of soaks up the heat from the sun and then at night when this water temperature gets cold these crappy start to hold around these bridges or on cold days like today these basically act like an underwater heater and the fish including the crappy and the bait fish kind of ball up and bunch up around these bridges so that's one of the reasons why we picked the bridges should be holding a lot of fish especially as the water temperature starts to get colder and so far that's definitely been the case here goes some more herring here bite on the big row bite on the big row we got him we got him we got him 
big rod. Yes. There we go. I think we got another catfish. I'll take another cat. Little cold water cat. Oh yeah, another nice size one. Like right at about a couple pounds. Maybe about a pound and a half. Look at that, check that out. Boom! Yes! That's a good looking catfish. Another nice little like, maybe pound and a half for right here. That's definitely a channel. You can see all the, the spots on her. But yeah, that's gonna be another good eating one too right there. We might fry that one up right here in the boat. Nice, let's get her on the stringer. Boom! Woo! It's cold out. We're still getting fish. This is awesome. You guys are getting a bite on the big rod. Get a bite on the big rod again. Come on. Got him. There he is. Nice. Feels like a little better catfish right here. Catfish, yes sir. Come here. There we go. Check that out guys. A little bit better. A little bit better fish right there. Look at that. That's probably about eight pounds or so would be my guess. Another pretty channel. Awesome. Just took that bait, little cold water catfish in here. Ooh, reached my hand in that water and getting chilly. Nice fish there. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. That's another nice size one. I think we'll put him on a stringer. Take him home. I promised my little girl I'd bring her home a big catfish. So, not quite massive, but uh, for her, this will be a nice size. There you go, guys, right there. A little bit of fresh herring. Cut bait. Drawing the catfish in. You guys, crappy rods get bit. Crappy rods get bit. Got it. Got it. On the crappy rod. Crappy. Yep, nice crappy. Nice crappy. Here we go, here we go. Yes. You know, I've got my other rod out here. I'm gonna have to move it in. Here we go. Another keeper. Look at that. Check that. Nice. Oh man, she just horked this thing down. Look at that. Check that out. It's going to be another about 11 inch or 11, 12 inch. Look at that though. Look, she just ate that. She just ate that. That minnow's gone. Good grief. We'll see if we can get it out, but there's horked. Absolutely horked that minnow down. All of a sudden, it, my rod actually didn't even start to bend. I just saw my line like swimming off to the side. <laughs> she just gobbled it down. Oh, I see that hook. We can get that. We can get that. All right, guys, we moved to the other pillars, got both lines out, and that looked like it just got a bite. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. Anywho, I got a nice little cutting board and our fillet knife here. Just keep an eye on both rods. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook up some of this fresh crappie on the boat here. All right, so our crappie is dead. 
we poked him in the head. Let's go ahead and get the fillet in here. There we go. There we go, there's one fillet. Not bad. Oh my gosh, we got we got one right here. Holy cow, I did Oh, oh, it just came off. Oh my word, guys, I just looked up and this rod was bent. Oh my heavens. Whew. All right, check that out. Look at those fillets. Man, that looks awesome. We got a couple more down here. Went ahead and cleaned two of the crappy. So now what we're gonna do, go ahead and get our cooking stuff out next. Handy dandy cooking set up here. If you guys want any of this, I've got links in the description below to this whole little set right here. I think that's gonna work actually. Let's grab, got a pan back here as well. Got some breading mix, utensils, a little salt and pepper. I guess the first thing, oh no, we're getting a bite. First thing we're gonna do is get this fish. If it's, yeah, he's still on there. Hold up, hold up. Oh, he just let go. Come on. Got him. <laughs> Tighten that drag up a little bit. Came back around for it. Nice. Nice. Feels like another kitty. Feels like another kitty man. It's cold weather catfish. Won't say no to that. Got plenty of catfish right now though, so we'll probably let this one go. Yeah, another catfish. Come here, you. Look at that. Another little kitty. About two pounds, probably. Come on. Good eating size, really. There you go. There we go. Look at that. Pretty cat. Like I said, probably about two pounds, another channel. I got plenty of catfish now, though. Let's go ahead and drop her back in. Let's get this baited back up, though, and get it back out there. Then we'll start cooking. There we go. All right, pan's heating up. Let's go ahead and throw some canola oil in there. Next what we'll do, take some of our Louisiana fish fry. This is actually a seafood breading mix. Put some in a pan here. We'll go ahead and grab our fillets. Drop them in the breading. All right, you can hear that oil starting to heat up. In fact, actually we're gonna turn that down just a little bit. That wind, I'm fighting that wind to keep that heat around. I'm gonna drop those in just like that. Just one. And two. Perfect. Well, it's a little tight, but we're making it work. Time to go ahead and flip these fillets. Let that side cook. The nice thing about this crappy is that, um, you know, it's not gonna take that long to cook, especially with these thin fillets. It's not like a catfish, it's super chunky, so. Got a couple minutes on this side that we should be ready to go. Oh yeah, check that out. Nice and golden. Mmm, well it doesn't get any fresher than this, right on the boat, on the kayak nonetheless. Now what I'm gonna do with this, is we're just gonna hit it with a little fresh ground salt and a little fresh ground black pepper. We're gonna let this cool for a second. And then lunch is served. Check that out. Oh, we're getting a bite right here. We're getting a bite. Ooh, look. On the catfish rod again. Well, while we wait to see if he comes back and bites. Here we go. We're gonna eat some of our fresh fried crappy here. Oh. That is so good. It's simple but delicious recipe. I'm trying to figure out if this catfish, or whatever it is, is gonna come back around. Oh, look at this. I had one full crappy filet. Mm. You gonna bite? I've gotten a couple of little bites, but you ain't committing. 
This is legitness. Mmm. Man, I'll tell you what, guys. Cooking this fresh right here in the boat, I'm not gonna lie. It's a tiny bit crowded, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, this is delicious. It doesn't get any fresher than this. Oh, there's a bite. There it is. There it is. We got him. We got him. Oh, we got him. I was just finished salt and peppering my second batch of fish. Check that out. Gorgeous. And we just loaded into another catfish. I'm assuming. Yeah, it feels like a catfish. Feels like a catfish. Catfish bite's been steady. But that crappy bite around about 11 o'clock just kind of died. Come on. Nice size catfish again. There you go, look at that. <laughs> Woo! That's probably a good, probably four or five pounder right there. Another, just another nice eaten sized. Again though, we got plenty. Got plenty of them, so let's go ahead and drop them back in. Fun fight though. Fun to be getting them here this late in the season. We're almost, almost darn near at the end of November. In Idaho, where I'm from, it's just darn near, whoa, impossible to get kitties this late in the year. Whew. There's, there he is. Did I get him? Got him. Guys, this another catfish. Feels like a solid one. We might end the day on this one right here. Crappy bite's been pretty slow. Actually non-existent this afternoon. Just another nice cat coming up to the surface. Nice. Not bad. Perfect, right in the bottom of the mouth. Probably about another five pounder or so. Not the biggest one of the day, but a solid cat. Bait fish coming in, bringing in the bigger fish. Nice. That hook gotta just pop right out. Boom. Nice thing about hooking those catfish, usually when you get them in the mouth, that is so fatty. That hook's not gonna come out. That's probably good. Probably six, seven pounds would be my guess. Probably second biggest one of the day. Another pretty channel. Awesome. Got plenty of catfish though, so we'll drop her back in. Well, YouTube fam, I would say that was a very successful day. First time ever cooking up on the kayak. I would say it went pretty well. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the recipe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.